Ooh, girl, don't wanna to touch my finger. What is that? Mmm. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Larry, and I'm back again with another video. So, I just came back from Walmart. I'm high, I'm out of breath. Them stairs is just too much to deal with at one time. Like, girl, I need y'all to go. Pack y'all bags. But anyway, I went to Walmart. Um, I was gonna film in there, but then I was like, eh, like, not really, because I'm gonna show y'all guys what I'm making, and then I'm gonna do, like, a mukbang, kind of, like, sorta, like. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, basically, what I got was stuff for a seafood boil. I've been craving it. And I just, I don't know, I was, like, in between deciding if I wanted to go to a restaurant and get it or make my own. And... I don't know and like I was having trouble like trying to find like the stuff that I wanted to get or the stuff that I needed to make it because the crab legs were looking small huh? and they were looking high um which they kind of were but like I'm not really gonna be mad about it whatever I just wanted to make my own and like taste it and stuff I forgot to get Bailey's but I got the little okay I'll show y'all what I got so I got shrimp, d vein. They still got the tails on d shell. I got this. I got two of these. I got this one. This one is the John um, Jones Crab Claws and Arms. And then I got the Dungeness Crab um, Legs. Then I got sausage. And then, of course, we got the sweet corn log. And then I got some Old Bay Seasoning and Two Step. And then I got this. This right here. Put that in there with the water and the butter. Baby, it's over with. It tastes so good. I just add a little extra obey and a little extra uh, cayenne. Boom. How to get the potatoes. Girl, if y'all do not know what this is, go get it. It is so good. It's raspberry lemonade uh, Mountain Dew. Thank me later. And then, I want to do like a taste test on these. I ain't never seen these before. They're the Doritos Jumpin' Jack Cheese flavor. Never seen it. Um, it took me a lot to actually get this because I don't like paying like five dollars for a bag of chips. I don't know if that's just me, but like, girl. All right, y'all. I got my pot on the stove with the water. As y'all can see, two liters of water. I don't want to do too much because I'm only one person, so that's why I don't have like that much in there. Like, I'm not doing the most. So yeah. So I'm about to rinse off my potatoes. I'm gonna do four because it's just me. All right, come on, potatoes. I'm about to put them in. Okay, and right now I'm adding like two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of butter. Going in the potato. In there, it's getting hot. You see the butter is melting. You see it, you see it, you see it. Gotta trust the process. Mmm, that smell good. This season right here just because oh okay girl okay that thing spread it girl this season it smells so good and i'm gonna put some obey in there one i think i'm about to do two corns um because it's literally just me so Oh, it smells good already. Mm. Two corns. Period. I'm not adding the seafood and stuff in there yet because it's not boiling. One and two, the seafood like cooks really fast. And we gotta wait because this corn not done, the potatoes not done. And yeah. So I'll come back whenever um stuff start booming and popping. That's like doing this thing and um starting to boil on. It ain't boiling yet, but when it's getting this stuff together, whatever, let's try these chips that I've seen. They had so many different chips in there today. It was crazy. I was like, mm. 
But sound good. Because some of them didn't sound good at all. Let me get a big shoe. I look like a, a Cool Ranch Dorito. It smells like a Cool Ranch Dorito. Stop playing. Oh my God, it tastes like something. <laughs> What is that? Mmm. Mmm. It's extra cheesy. It tastes like some cheesy ramen or something. Yeah. It's like, it's a little spicy too. It's like the the regular Dorito, but without the, um, I don't know. It just gives more cheesier instead of the red hot, the redness that the other one gives. It's good. It's like they put cheddar cheese on here. Jumpin' Jack, Jumpin' Jack cheese. What is it, pepper jack cheese or something in here? I don't know, but it's good though. I like it. Mmm. These with some nachos, go crazy. You wouldn't even have to add extra cheese on top that much because it's got the cheese. Look at that. The cheese on there. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do I like these better than regular Doritos? They have different tastes, but if you like more of a, mm, if you like more of a cheddar taste or more of a cheesy taste rather than the spice that the um, regular Doritos have, these are for you. It's like more cheesy. Has a little bit of spice, not too much. The other one is more leaning toward cheesy, but has like a little spicy cayenne, little spice, little taste on the regular Doritos. But these, that's cheesy right there with a little kick on the end. They're good. I like those. That's how it's looking right now. It looks like it's starting to boil some. So I might be getting ready to start to add the seafood and uh this uh the bag it has mustard seed it has coriander seed red pepper dill seed bay leaves and allspice you got everything in here besides the cajun seasoning which i added earlier so let's come on let's put it in here okay right, i guess we can add it in but i'm not adding it in for too long like i said earlier because Mm, you can just let it get in there and give it the seasonings that we need, sister. The seasonings that we need. So I got my shrimp. I'm not gonna put the whole bag again because <laughs> it's only me. It's only me. You know what? Oh, I can put the, I can put the sausage last because I think the sausage is cooked, and by that point it'll be hot. So basically, the order is potato, corn. Potato corn, you let your water boil up, season, butter. Then you do, then you do your, your shrimp and your crab legs um, after that order because they usually cook fast. If they are cooked, you can still do it in that order. Honestly, yes, if they're if they're cooked already, I would do them like closer to last so they can like boil and get the juices in them because it's already cooked. You don't want to overcook it because it'll be nasty. I'm not gonna lie, it'll be nasty, y'all. But these aren't cooked, so I'm gonna add them in um, cause it's starting to boil. And then the crab legs, I'm gonna add them in like a little bit after. So they're not in there too long and they just like, you know, get acclimated and whatnot cause they're already cooked. So yeah. These are D-Vane, D-Shell. I think that's enough to be honest. 
I don't need that much. That was like a handful. I'm gonna wait like a few minutes. Um, wait, wait for them to like get basically done. And then I'm gonna add the crab legs and then I'm gonna add the sausage. Boom, then we're done. All right, y'all, so the shrimps, let me show y'all the scrimps. Y'all see them, they're on the top. And it's basically done. When they start floating, that's how you know that they're done. And they're curled up. When they start to curl up, girl, can I get one to show y'all? See, look, how it curled up. Like that. That's how you know it's getting done. So I'm gonna start adding the, uh, the crab legs and the claws. I feel like these aren't like that big either. I added one in there already. Dungeon is crab. Oh, it's a cluster. Okay, I'm gonna just do that one cluster. These are fly. I'm gonna add like three. All right, y'all, this is what it's looking like. Got the crab in there. I'm trying to get it submerged. And I still got this in here, which I'm about to take out soon. Cause I'm not thinking that I need it that much. I'm gonna add some more butter a little bit too. There we go, it's in there and it's cooking. I think I'm gonna cook it for a little bit. And then um, now I'm about to get up here and add this sausage. This sausage is big. Like smell like breakfast sausage. All right, I got me four pieces. Let me do one more. <laughs> I'll be fiending for the sausage. I love the sausage. Sausages in hand. Ooh, girl, don't want to touch my finger. All right, boom, my sausages is in there. There we go. All right, I'm gonna let it cook for like a little bit longer. We should be good. But our seafood boil. It's boiling, it's moving, y'all see it. Mm-mm-mm. It's about to be good. All right, y'all, it's starting to boil, boil, boil. Honestly, it's done. You see the sausages are done, look. When they start popping out the side like that, they're done. The shrimp are definitely done. The pot <clears throat> potatoes are done. <clears throat> Something in my throat. I Maybe mean, I think it's the season. Yeah, here, because I was putting some more in here, but crab leg, they're done. They just needed to basically unthaw in here. I'm about to take this out and put it in this little Tupperware bowl right here. Because I did not even need the whole thing. Oh, I need a bigger bowl. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. I will get back with y'all when I make my plate and we start the mukbang. All right, y'all, I'm back. And as y'all seen, I got my plate. Mmm! Hold on, I'll show y'all. Look at this. Got my potato, shrimp, sausage, corn. Where's she going? <laughs> My spark, gotta have that. Got to pop. So good. Okay. Anyway, I don't know what happened. My camera was acting crazy, so I need to repair my file. But yeah, this is my bowl: shrimp, sausage, corn, crab legs. 
potatoes in that order. We're gonna shrink now. It's so good. As you can see, I added extra seasoning on the top. So, the only thing I'm making sure I'm eating is the shrimp because I feel like you cannot reheat shrimp. It just doesn't work like that. I mean, I feel like most, most people in general, it's a no to reheat, like, mm -mm. But extra on the, on the shrimp. Mm-mm. They just don't be doing right. And this is really good. But, yeah, y'all. What y'all been up to? How y'all been doing? Ooh, it's a little spicy. But yeah, y'all, um, I just been working. <laughs> As always, nothing special. I don't really have anything, like, well, my dad did come to visit me. Um... Was that last week? Yeah, he came to visit me last week. Um, it was fun. I really liked it because I hadn't seen any like family in like since last September since I got here. And yeah, it was good to see a familiar face. It was really good. I, I hadn't seen my dad in a while, so. Well, I haven't seen him since I've seen all my family, so. But I'm used to seeing him every day, so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun. We went um, shopping and stuff like that. Um, shopping, went out to eat to some restaurants around here. Um, there's not much around where I live at, to be honest. Like, there's not like, no excursions, nothing like that. But, I think we made the most of it. And, um, have fun. I'm gonna be posting a video um like what I got. But I'm trying to wait for my um for something else to come in so I can do like a complete um video. Show you guys what I got and it's like an unboxing and stuff like that. Um I'm waiting to see mm, not see but like when it comes in, so we can do a collective haul instead of being a mess. So, yeah. But it was really fun seeing my dad and spending time with him. But other than that, I haven't really been doing much. Corn, just chilling at home. Um. Talking to my friends. <laughs> That's pretty much it, you know. Trying to stay busy until I can get where I want to be, you know. That type of vibe, that type of thing. You know, distract yourself and better yourself until you can do more. Or keep putting yourself out there until you can, you know, get finally out there and do what you want to do. So, yeah. I'm just in a state of do what I can and not stress about what I can't do. And that's about it. You can only do what you can do. You can only better yourself and keep pushing. Keep it pushing. That's it. Don't be getting worried about other people, what they got going on, what people think, how people perceive you. That's their problem, not yours. Just do what you gotta do. And things happen for a reason. And that's all. And people will show you who they really are and how they truly roll. And that's that. You do with what you will with that. <laughs> but me, I mostly keep to myself here. I talk to my friends and family. That's about it. I do my job. I go home. Period. And that's it because... I've just come to a point where I know I'm not going to be friends, close, close friends with, or super close friends with anybody that I work with. Nothing like that. Anything like that. I don't really expect that at this point, but I just do what I have to do and leave. 
And that's it. They said me. I'm dipping it aside. Mm. Something on there. Whoa, the shell is getting everywhere. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's like a little salty. And I think that's from when that thing was in there for too long. The bag. They said the shit. Have I been listening to uh, Summer Walker new album? Our new EP? I don't know why, but that thing has been stuck in my head. I feel like everything that she put out <clears throat> is good. But I also be feeling like she kind of like don't do what she say. <laughs> that vibe. <laughs> I'm not like trying to bash, but like side eye on some of the stuff. Side eye on some of that. These things are so small. Mm. Mm. I came around today, y'all, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much most of what I wanted to talk about. I don't even know what else to say, <laughs> but, y'all, I really appreciate the support that y'all been giving on my videos. I do not want to forget to say that. <clears throat> But thank y'all so much um, for my new subscribers, new supporters. Hey, thank y'all for coming through. Thank y'all for showing love and support. My last videos have been getting more views than normal. Um, I really appreciate that. And I'm trying to be more consistent. But it's just like, I don't really be knowing what I want to film. Like, what I want to do. That type of thing. Um... But I know that's kind of like an excuse. I just need to figure out my niche, my niche, my niche, and stick to that. Yeah, y'all, like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love. Peace out. <laughs>